Well, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is doing great, fantastic, everything else. I got all this stuff in my face. I feel like a stripper sometimes. Jesus. Hope everybody had a great Valentine's. Um, I hope everybody that is in the Midwest and the East is staying warm, has electricity, and is doing well. Um, I know a couple of our friends. Um, are freezing their booty off uh other dave being one of them and angawa being the other uh, he sent me a picture last night he said it was 40 degrees in his house and he was uh, working by candlelight because he did not have power so um i feel bad for you guys um that that sucks that that severely sucks uh i feel bad for you um but yeah i hope everybody had a great one um we did not do much here um I made the wife Valentine's dinner. I uh, gave her a couple gifts. She's super stoked. Uh, one of them being, I think I mentioned it, a little hydroponic, like grow your own um, lettuce and things like that. And she loves it. Uh, she, every day she goes over, she talks to the plants. And she doesn't talk to the plants. She, she coos to them. Um, and they have, uh, they've actually in like three days, they actually already have leaves and are sprouting up. So, um, Let's see if they stay alive. Uh, let's see here. Patrick Lindbergh. Uh, first off, let's start this way. Uh, Jim and Boo says, sup. He gets the gold star. Uh, Patrick Lindbergh. What's up, Dave? You get the silver star for tonight. Um, and we'll go from there as people show up. Uh, we got Dead to Death saying, hey, Dave. And you get the bronze star for tonight. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Who's going to get the plastic star tonight? Who's going to get the plastic star? Who's going to get the plastic star? Who's a good boy? Who's going to make a comment and get the plastic star? I just realized because I'm listening to myself back that kind of sound like Patrick. Uh, let's see here. Um, so... Uh, all right, so let's see here. News from New Type. Uh, new IMS model kit by Vokes uh, model kit now available. Uh, Golden Electric Knight, uh, the Knight of Gold at IMS uh, stand up now. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, let's see here. Uh, the I'm going to search cog, the IMS, three dimensional, there's ceremony. Lord, what the fuck? All right, now I'm having to click on it. Uh, Gunpla Franny. Gunpla Franny gets the plastic star tonight. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Gunpla Franny? Um, so let's see here. Um, it looks like, it looks like New Type has the Siren Neptune and the Knight of Gold. Oh, okay. Their wording is uh, horrible in the, the preview, but uh, so yeah, they have those in stock. Let us, let us see what the prices are. Because this will be the true testament. And we'll see if Dead to Death either buys or he pukes. Um, that's not what I, why, why did you take, um, so I click on the Knight of Gold and it takes me to the real grade alpha uh, unit 08. That's not what I wanted. That's false advertisement. Don't do that. Um, okay. IMS 1100 Knight of Gold and the cost the cost where's the goddamn cost? It just says add to bag. Well, let's add it to bag. That is so weird. So weird. It doesn't list, the, at least on the mobile, it doesn't list the price. It just says list a bag. Uh, so $96 for the Knight of Gold. And for the 1144th uh, Siren is $63. So there you go. Uh, technically, I believe uh, the Knight of Gold is the better value because it is the bigger, more extravagant kit. 
Um, I don't know pricing wise. Uh, Dead to Death can leave a comment on that whether uh, $96 is a good price or not. I miss, I miss uh, Neograde's version of that. They did a great one in resin. I should have grabbed the straight straw. Um, okay, so what we're going to be doing uh, tonight is we're going to continue working on uh, this guy. Now, um, I did play around with it. Let me uh, let me change let me change the view. Um, so I did play around with this a little bit last night. All I did was the front and the side and the back skirts. Um, they were pretty. Um, they were simple and yet they were really, really well done uh, with the layers and everything. And um, I actually made a mistake building. I forgot that there's two. Um, so Dead to Death actually says it's a good price at $96 for the Knight of Gold. Um, so you can pick that up over at New Type. I'm not sponsored, uh, nor have I ever actually purchased anything from New Type. I've had things sent to me to review and stuff uh, by other people that have purchased from New Type. Um, but yeah, I always like trying to give you guys uh, the best deals that I can find and that just have to pop up on my phone. So, um, so with the skirts, these pieces are uh, actually made up of one, two, three, four, uh, like four pieces all sandwiched together. And I wasn't paying attention. And I believe that these parts that are for the vents, there are clear alternatives for those. And I actually forgot about that when I ended up building these up. Now these will come apart very easily for all the vents, um, but I actually, I think they look good with the gray. Um, and we built the head. Now there is an alternative piece, which is just in gray up here. Uh, I do have the alternative pieces set to the side. That way I can bag those up and send to um, dead to death. But this is what we've got so far. Um, tonight, looking i should be able to get through the arms and the legs to show you guys how that ends up looking get out of there thank you all right uh so let us uh let us work on the arms i think we have to do the shoulders first there was one thing that was confusing uh with the instructions and I, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So if you look here, this section right here, it has you build this part. There's a clear green piece. There's a red piece. But it wasn't exactly clear where it went. I couldn't find where it went. It just had you build that. And then the end, you put the head on the, on the kit. Uh, so that was odd. Uh, and then it also shows taking the um, the V fan and mounting it on the inside of the skirt. Now, I don't know if that's made for like alternative fan. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. So we did not do that part, but it was just, it was kind of odd. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, in other news, we will see what ends up happening with this. Um, wait, just in case they tune in. Just in case they tune in, so everything looks good. Got display over here. Don't these are not display. Don't get all excited. Um, I was actually contacted. Um, there's a style of VFIN you can choose. Um, extra style. Okay, so I guess that's considered like storage for it. I would assume. Um, I was contacted over the weekend. I got an email from um, James over at display and they actually came across my videos and liked my uh, review on their tools which i still have to do a review on this guy um i've been playing around with it i'm trying to figure out the best way to film to show you guys uh, i have done some uh, plot plate and i mean you can uh, you can obviously do masking tapes and stuff um, but i'm more interested in the ability of doing plot plate uh, i do have a little critique on here that i would have things changed um, but it, it works it works fine um, and I did end up finding out for those that end up doing this there there is a magnet in here that actually the um, the cutter attaches to so once you're done cutting you just back up this nut that's on here 
and then um, it draws up that that blade very simple I really like the the style of it I like the weight of it um, so I'm I'm still working on a review for for that but they contacted me liking how I did the video and asked if they could send some things over for me to review and I said sure uh, I'm not gonna turn that down I really like their products um, but I haven't heard back from them so we will see what ends up happening with that <clears throat> um, I did mention that I had this uh, so that they you know they didn't end up sending me one um, because I mean that would I would feel bad about that I have one and they send me another one I, I would actually feel bad about that uh, I'm not that kind of person but if they end up sending me anything uh, extra that I have that end up being duplicates you guys know me I'm not going to keep them I'm going to end up giving them away so you definitely want to stay tuned for that um, let's see here um, thank you to the people that have slapped the like button um, and please do so uh, don't treat me like your side bitch hit that side hit that hit that like button um, I did end up getting the new uh, scooter um, do you, let me let me ask you guys cuz chat is super quiet today uh, let me ask you guys, do you like being able to see the manual as I'm working on it? Or do you even care? Because right now I just have it propped up back there so that everything is not all blown out. But as is, unless you guys say otherwise, I'm just going to build this way. So right now we're going to end up building the shoulders. And because I'm a masochist, I have not put labels on any of these runners. Do, 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 do. So it takes me a little bit longer to figure out. I mean, at least, you know, if anyone from over there ends up seeing my videos, at least be uh, at least put where what, the runner number or something like that on a regular space on your runners um, that would be super super helpful <coughs> keep it how it is right now you got it gunpla Freddy and I have seen your work over on um, Instagram And I like it. All right, so what do we got? We got uh, key one nine. Flip it over right. So we got nine and ten, and we're gonna have to do this twice. Now a lot of these parts are actually undergated, uh, and they actually trim very well, so that part is good. Um, the head was a little twitchy uh, I have never put together a Gundam head the way that this one went together and it was refreshing there was a lot of little layers and just the way it went together it was it was very nice uh, I enjoyed it a lot uh, next we got K8 I get up in there I do need to order another pair I haven't ordered them yet I have to wait till payday and order a new pair of nippers uh, the tips are fine it just back toward the back toward the handle that I screwed up and I did that all myself so I have no one to blame mr. flair is in the house with a woo uh, let's see here. We have I. K. I. And I will make your ears bleed. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is I. Yeah, I. 
See, because some of them they put here, some they put here, some they put down here. I'm like, just be consistent. Good Lord. Uh, I-48. And that's another thing I noticed, too, is on a lot of runners um, where I'm kind of used to, like, when it, one starts up here and it goes through. Here it starts one and it goes this way. It's completely backwards. So you do kind of have to um, go about these a little bit differently, not assuming... Because you know what happens when you assume that they are exactly like all your other kits that you've built. Especially if you've never built any third party kits. This is not a bootleg. This is considered a third party. Because there is not an original of this. What the fuck, Leon? Uh, Leon, th thank you. Thank you. All right, so here's... Every time you do that, I literally, I literally do not know what to say or do. Like, I I just, I don't know. I, 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 I'm still in shock. Like, I haven't even pulled out my titties yet. Okay, uh, so since, since Leon is starting this, we're going to do this so that I am on the straight and narrow, keeping me honest. So Leon says, alcohol Friday hype. So he's trying to get me smashed before Friday, but that also keeps me, uh, lets me know how much I have to prepare my, myself. Okay. <laughs> Where is my Sharpie? Give me my Sharpie. I think my... Oh, no. There's my black Sharpie. All right. Here we are. <laughs> Prepare your rectern and uh, Ripdos. Hello, hello. How are you? All right, so here we are. Um, so we are going to do, what is Friday? Let's look at our calendar. We want to make sure. <laughs> so Friday is the 19th. So we have 2, 19, 21 and we have one two so far okay so there's no so there's no mistake or anything there we go so we will put that over there that way we can keep track of it on Friday and you're you're just you're awesome dude like seriously awesome Okay, so let's get back to this. And for some reason, wifey is asking me how much sodium is in the chicken patties that are in the freezer. I'm like, I'm not going down. Leon paid me $50 to stay here. You can kiss my lily white ass. I am Leon's bitch now. There, that looks better. All right, so, uh, da 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 da. Where was I? Jesus Christ. Besides, I was about to pass out. Um, I-48, we have I-35, 36. I-35, 36. 35. 36. Uh, dead to death. Little. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a little. Uh, 
So she has a physical with her doctor, which she's trying to get out of. And I'm like, just go. You haven't had a physical in like 10 freaking years. Uh, dude, I, 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 I probably would have passed out. You guys would have had a stream of like my head just laying on the fucking desk drooling. If you had done that, Leon, like you're just. You're just, yes, yes, some Zoids came up. I'm pretty sure because Leon is treating Zoids like Pokemon and he's got to collect them all. Um, let's see here. Where am I? E, F. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see here. G. Do I have, do I have any G's? Any G's? Got no G's, but I need some F. And what have I got? F6. So we got F6 and 5. I will hop in voice chat here in a few minutes. If anybody cares to join. And anyone can head over to, toward the Discord and they can hop in a voice chat. And then get drug in. Um, let's see here. So we have F. We got all the Fs. Oh, F10. I need some F10 too. F10. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because F. Um, stressing about. Oh. See, that's good of you. I would have rather you took the money and did toward that. I mean, I really appreciate the money. I am not, um, I am not even going to gripe about that. But, um, yeah, like, like I fully understand that. Like, but again, uh, thank you, uh, thank you so much. Um, I am, I am truly honored, humbled, and everything else that goes along with that. Um, let's see here. We need some. We need some E's. An E. E. <laughs> I did buy two Zoids though. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got E13. And 14. Thirteen, E fourteen, E six, E five. So I showed up to work today to utter fucking chaos. So I guess over the weekend, something ended up happening and the power kept kicking on and off at my office over the weekend and fried a couple of computers. Um, and then it was just, that was just a freaking nightmare. Getting IT out to work on that. Then they're all, oh, well, we may be able to work on uh, getting at least one of those computers uh, up and running. We have them, but we have to put software on them and do all this. Um, maybe by the end of this week, maybe next week. <clears throat> okay. First of all, I don't know if you've ever met the doctor I work for, um, but I would love to introduce you, and then you tell him to that that to his face 
because he just can canceled clinic now because we can't view any patient's information on the computer that's in his office that freaking died. Um, and then next thing we know, they're, we're being told they'll be out first thing in the morning and putting in the new computer. So, uh, Roberto Garcia, saludos. Uh, and that kind of looks like a cat whiskers sideways. Maybe I don't know. How are you? How are you? Um, I need to go back because I didn't get enough uh, F earlier. We got to get some more F. Now this is G. Need some more F. I missed the F. I hope everybody got an F for Valentine's Day. Unless you didn't want an F, and then I hope you didn't get an F. But other than that, I hope everybody got an F. Runner F, I mean. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's that. Uh, we got E. We got, uh, what am I missing? I'm missing a P and Q. P and Q. So I think if I remember correctly, P is these. And I need a P. 29 and 30. Uh, 29 and 30. Okay. 29. 30. So we'll drop one there. We'll drop one there. Um, I work too much, and Leon says I work too much to get an F. I'm just saying, I doubt your girl even knows who I am, but I seriously hope with everything that you do, and as awesome as you are, Leon, that you get a big fat F um, when you get home. Um, let's see here, and I need a Q. Q six and seven. Um, let's see here. And Riptos, how uh, how many days do you think you'll be done with this kit? Um, I don't know. Like I'm hoping to bl like I know that I'm going to get this kit done this week. Um, here's the thing. I feel guilty. Like if I just sit and um, yes, exactly. Other Dave. God damn, Leon. Uh, I am home till Tuesday. Well, Leon, tell tell your girl um, that you deserve a big fat F from me. I don't know if it'll mean, any, mean anything. Um, and let's see here. Riptos, uh, how many days? Uh, so I, I know that I can get done this week. Uh, I don't want to sit on the sides and like last night I just was messing around with the skirts and I actually felt guilty working on them um, without sharing with you guys. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it, it, I did. So, um, okay, let's switch over to the, this view and get these built. Uh, let's see here. Five dollar, five dollar for GI. Oh. $1,200. No, I'm not giving you an F. I'm telling you that your girl should give you an F. And tell her I said to give you an F. I mean, yes, you pay me well. Um, Don't get me wrong, but... Me no love you long time. That's your girl's job. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Depp Shalburn uh, got mine from a show Z store. Uh, hoping Lunar uh, New Year stuff clears up so de deliveries can finally speed up. 
Can't wait to display this with uh, the Testament. Yeah, so far I have been really happy with the way that this uh, kit just is. Like it's went together very well. It, it's gone together as well as a Bandai kit, if not a little bit better in a few places. Very smooth. Um, the only thing that I've ended up finding is a couple of spots like across here where the um, where the mold was there is a mold line which literally the back of an exacto knife and it's gone like there's not really offset there's just like a little um, how do I put it? like a little fin if that makes any sense and yeah, literally back of an X-Acto knife and it wipes it right out. Uh, <laughs> Leah, oh my God. Uh, Staff's kit dropping in to let you guys know that GMC will have 42 of the George available. Um, after the holiday, start checking uh, the site uh, between the 21st and 22nd. Thank you very much for that info. You are awesome. Uh, Leon, Dave's hitting on me, guys. Hey, you brought this on yourself. You, you're the one to put yourself out there. Uh, Flair says, time to get that pink wig, Dave. Oh, I'll be your Bella Daphine. I'll be your huckleberry. Uh, honestly, expect that batch to sell out within a minute. It says dead to death. Um, Depp says, uh, happy to hear that man. Hoping Zero Gravity continues uh, this model kit legacy um, with the newly announced one. Heard it might be uh, a metal build figure. It might just be a metal build figure. I mean, even if it is, as long as they can keep the cost down, um, hell, even I would be interested in this. Now, to be fair, I am taking more time than I normally would on something like this because um, this is actually dead to deaths. So you guys can thank him for this. Um, but, so I'm trying to make it nice and clean so that he, if he chooses to, he can just panel line it, put it on a shelf, and maybe paint it someday. But mostly just put it on a shelf. just going through I'm trimming off any little nubs that are left on things like the fact that they give you an option that you can either use the clear parts or you can use uh, gray parts the same I also like the fact that you do end up getting a lot of like leftover little bits that you can use for other things or if you end up screwing up something there are um, extras that are going to be left over 
Do 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 do. Where is my exacto knife? <clears throat> um, does that mean I'm your simp? Um, no. No. Just means you're an awesome fucking dude. one let's build up this one do 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 okay so that goes in there I tell you what though their little piece that goes on here is tighter than any Bandai ones What was that? Uh, Bella Daphine only has Sims, though. <laughs> no, I have friends. I have people that I will talk to and I'll pay attention to. And you have to not, I mean, you don't have to send me anything. I appreciate it, but you don't have to send me anything. And let's see. Pretty sure. Do 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 do. Okay. Because it's not super clear. how some of these pieces end up going. So for this piece right here, um, there is, it's shaped like this. There's a little fin that's on here and it actually slides in and you can see up on this red part, there are little slots um, and it goes into the back. The But in the instructions, looking at it, it looks like it goes the red piece and then this piece. But as far as I can tell, uh, no, it's supposed to be this way. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Uh, flare, nah, does him now sell me some bath water? <laughs> Take my money, Dave. Um, what's up, Jabuti? How are you tonight? I'm hoping Jabuti got some, um, Got some F on Valentine's. We'll we'll end up seeing runner F. We're we're keeping it. We're keeping it good. We're keeping it family friendly. All right. I'm trying to figure out how this goes in here. Okay, get in there. Like, I'm sorry, that looks real, like, that looks really good. Like, it looks better than any of the Bandai bents. Uh, Dave can sell his used resin degreaser so you can bathe your resin kits in them. Oh, oh, resin bath water. You gave me a great idea. I can just post up pictures of like, um, 
Uh, Flair, I hear F69. F69, I hear, is a prime part. <laughs> Freaking. Uh, you're awesome. Um, yeah, I can post up pictures of, like, um, Asuka soaking in, like, a tub of the the um, the purple power. <laughs> and post that up and then sell off little containers of the Asuka bathwater. Get your Asuka bathwater now, only at Dave's World. Okay, you're being a little finicky, and why are you now having a finicky piece? Get in there. Don't know why. Maybe I didn't push you hard enough, babe. So there's more of that vent. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, see? Okay. We're going to build this other side real quick. Snip. Snip. And we got that piece. We got that piece. Um, where do I side up? Last night we had something. Tonight I'll be curious that. But I don't really have a So like I said, on this piece here, you'll take the fin, kind of slide it in. To the top and the bottom. Um, I would suggest taking something blunt, like I'm using the back side of this file um, that has a rubber coating on there and just push it in all the way because you've got to push it, push it real good. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and then we take this and slide in like this, this piece. Together. Okay. So there's that. Now on this one, it's gonna slide in, and you are gonna have to do the same thing, just using something blunt and push it in all the way. Make sure that's all good. That vent's gonna go into there. This fit, we're going to trim off that, that, uh, da -da 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 -da. thank you everyone that has a slap the like a button either on your way in or your way out either way if you would slap that that would make me feel better it would make me feel like a happier hobby bitch technically I'm Leon's bitch now and I don't do snuggle time afterwards so just just letting you know I have limits I have limits Taylor, Taylor, who? Taylor. Okay, I'll look at that later. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see. What kind of shenanigans? Um, so let's see here. 
Uh, Forlorn Hail. Uh, do you have a favorite Gundam uh, Recon uh, Gista G model? Um, I don't. Uh, if I'm completely honest, I am not familiar with that series. I know. I'm a horrible person. That's probably because I did not. I like. I haven't found any mechs um, that tickled my fancy. I go after. Um, I go after designs that I really like. And Dead to Death is right. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Wait, you mentioned. Who mentioned me? Someone mentioned me in Discord. I will look at that later. Let's see here. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, the Hecate is a sexier new uh, Dom. Oh, Doms are always awesome. All right, let's get let's get this guy finished out here. Uh, where am I? Here's this. We're going to take this. It's going to go on the underside of this. You are going to go like Mia. So that's going to fit like Mia. And then that's going to go on like Mia. I'm going to nip off. If I'm honest, I'm kind of hoping this base sends me one of their nippers. Because um, they're kind of scarce to get here in the States. And I've heard a lot of good things about them. So, And you know me, I'm always trying new uh, new nippers and things like that. So, um, Let's see here. So for those of you that are just tuning in, um, we have the board that Angawa likes to give me shit about. Because I did cross branding on it. Um, but some of the branding I took off. Um, so we have this board. Da -da -da -da. Um, and on the back, we have alcohol tally. So the the things that are due for this Friday, uh, thanks to Leon, are two shots of ass liquid. That's what I am officially naming those shots is, is ass liquid. I'm putting myself through torture for your guys' entertainment. Austin says, is it possible to replicate a broken part in epoxy? My real grade tall geese is midsection broke and it makes me all sad. Um, it depends on what the piece is. Uh, you could, but it might just be faster and cheaper to, um, like what part of the midsection? Is it an internal piece or an external piece? Uh, let's see here. And then next up we have... This piece. Damn it, I can't even hold on to it. I haven't even been drinking tonight. Jesus Christ, what the hell? These pieces, piece, blah, 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 blah. these pieces fit together so well. I know I'm all cooing. I can't help it. I guess that's what cooing sounds like. Um, let's see here. Dead uh, internal piece A nine to be exact. Uh, Dead Death says, if you bought the kit recently and it has a bluefin sticker, you can just uh, get a replacement through them. Uh, you might be able to cast it, but epoxy is terrible sculpt uh, detailing piece. Honestly, yeah, I'm trying to. They say it may take about six weeks, though. Um, and Dead Death says, it's also terrible if uh, experiences any attention in posing. 
Um, personally, if it's an internal piece and you don't need it for, for movement, I would just, I would use some Tamiya Thin and just, um, just make that piece like solid, but it, it all depends. And hello, Miss Tail Whip. Hi, just finished a drawing and got the Mugen Liger in, in work in progress. Nice. Um, okay. How is this supposed to go? Because you are not clear. Why are you confusing me, Kit? Okay. Let's do it this way. So, these are gonna go like this. Okay. So, this is a little finicky. So the best way that I ended up finding was to put this piece in first, then slide this one over that little pole, and then line up the notches and press it in. Uh, except I was a dumbass right now and I did not put this in, but I can still get it in there. Just like that. Now this side will probably be a little tricky. Line up all the pegs. And the notches. You have multiples. Don't force it. Just work at it slowly. And there is one shoulder done. Let's do this other one here real quick. Uh, let's see here. Staffs, it's insane uh, that the Bullet Knight's Lancer weapon is longer than taller than Sazvi. Uh, actually, let's see, Tail Whip actually able to have blades on its ankles. Uh, let's see. Dead to death, Kota Bakia loves their ridiculous weapons. Uh, they even did like a three meter gun for the Knights of Sidonia kit. Yeah, their weapons are redonkulous in size. That. that hit this one with a file okay so just like we did on the other one let me uh, zoom you in to show you how I did this so I would put in this piece first Then on this piece, just feed that in through there. Slip that into its little notch, work it over. And I see a little, little nub that I missed there. You have a notch down here, notch down here, and these pieces go into this vent. Then for the other one, just kind of line everything up. Just 
gently squeeze around it'll end up going in that one went in easier You get some flappy movement, but everything's nice and tight. Like I like, I like how tight everything has been on this. Uh, let's see here. Leggers are getting used to sanding, taking my time to do so. Dead to death. Pretty good chance with a reissue of S3 and the anime coming out in the future. Um, let's see here. And uh, stand, stand to win. I hope so. Uh, Austin says, so the only really good option for new parts would be resin A. Um, I do wish Bandai would make their own load bearing parts out of stronger material. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, speaking of death, um, something I found out by accident uh, while messing around with the leg is so this section right here which gives you this it's actually um got notches in there and same way with your ankle pivot you've got that there so these ankles should be stable as hell now there's not one in here and i kind of wish there was that would have made this freaking awesome um but you do like you do get a lot of movement all the way around, but just those. So you're not going to have to worry about sitting there and then like doing that Bandai thing of like and end up doing the splits. You're not going to have to worry about that. Um, let's see here. So where are we? We're on the arms. Uh, the arms. There's actually it looks like there's less parts on the arms than there are on um we're on the shoulders let's we'll put this so it's just barely in the shot right there okay so what do we got we've got some C's do I have anything that's lower than a C nope looks like C okay all right C um, for this one, this seems to work a little bit better like this. Mm. <laughs> yes, but these seem to be better. They're not like, like, uh, resin pieces all. Brrr. So let's see. C4. Um, I would, uh, Austin says I would actually pay money for like small kits with load bearing pieces, stronger stuff, uh, kind of how you can buy third party caps, hands, uh, pay a lot. So you can check, um, I don't know if Abby Lee on, uh, on, e on the eBay store has any, but usually if they're a regular part that has a tendency of snapping and stuff. Um, you can check, uh, check her store because they have been making uh, some uh, metal pieces like, and I don't know why. And it kind of makes me concern. I think they made for the PG unleashed and also for the PG Exia, um, shoulder and hip joints out of metal. I don't know why, cause I don't see an issue with them, but, um, and then let's see, uh, dead death. Uh, there's nothing for the real green toggies. Okay. All right. Well, I was trying. I was trying. Um, let's see. 
and then C8 and 9. Do, 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 do. And I guess other Dave is at work because he's not in voice chat. It's either that or he doesn't have power. Which could very well be a possibility seeing how I think I last I saw there was 4.2 a million Texans without power. Now, see, I didn't say there was 4.2 million Texans without alcohol, just without power. And wrist units. So we need C16. C3 Um let's see here Uh Austin says uh up until now, the only parts that have broken are V-fins, which I think everyone breaks at some point. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Steps kids had a guy. A guy had his PG unleashed shoulders and ankles shear off. What the hell? Very clean break. Yeah, let's literally one guy out of tons of kids, though. Um, yeah, like, I, like, literally mine hasn't moved. I haven't had any issues, but I don't know. That's really weird. Um, do I have anything else that I'm missing? Uh, da, 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 da. While I'm down here, C3. I do need an A. I need some A. Uh, so what I've got? A, three and four. I think that's the only A that I have here. Right? Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 okay. So there's for those. Those are for the wrists. Um, let's see. We did the C. We need some D. 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 That's E. I don't need E yet. I need a bag. I need D. Um, let's see here. Uh, Rudy. Oh, fuck you. Rudy gives a thumbs up. And Leon says, fuck you. Alcohol, you say? <sighs> um, so, anyone that's a regular? Okay. So, we're up to three so far for Friday. Anybody that's a regular, um, you may want to tune in this Friday. Because the way it looks is it's going to be all ugly. It's going to be all bad. Thanks, Leon. You're... you're I mean, you just like hearing me stutter like a like a little girl that that just got handed flowers or something because that's kind of what I feel like every time you end up doing that and I appreciate it uh, 
Um, so here is my thought and I'm throwing it out there. Um, I don't have a hundred thousand subscribers or anything like that. Um, but I have some of the damn finest viewers and friends on this platform. Um, and I would not trade you guys for a million subscribers. Um, I enjoy sharing ideas, knowledge, stupidity. Uh, and I also enjoy learning from you guys and hearing your stories. I don't, I don't consider you guys just viewers. Like, cause that's rude. Like you guys are, you guys are friends. Um, if somebody had a hard time and I can help in some way, I would be more than happy, um, to, um, to help in any way I can. So I appreciate it. Um, Leon, uh, I like trolling you. Um, let's see here. New type, uh, 0085. F that dude. <laughs> uh, master grids are tougher doing to be larger, less tiny parts than many parts. Uh, tune in next time to watch Dave have alcohol poisoning on the stream. Well, not next time because next time is tomorrow. Um, but Friday. Friday, anything is freaking possible. And, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that maybe depending on where you are, Leon, next Friday, that you can tune in and hop in voice chat so you can laugh at me in person while I'm slowly dying, but happily doing so. All right. So C6 literally just notches right in to... Um, to here like that and doing it this way d6 let's get rid of these little nubs that are in here and get rid of that nub Um, let's see here. Austin says, Hey Dave, what do you use, uh, to chisel panel lines? Um, that's a great and horrible question all at the same time. Um, I have some display chisels. Uh, I have some Madworks chisel tips and I also have uh, some Soboro or BMC chisels. Um, it all depends. Um, uh, it all depends on uh, what I'm what I'm scraping and what sizes that I have. Um, I am really liking the display and the Madworks both alike. Um, I have a rack that I need to um, try and fill up slowly with either brand. But yeah. Um... Yeah, I did. Uh, I did do a video on. Um, well, first let's do this. Leon says uh, maybe depends on if warehouse delays me uh, by an hour again. And then uh, death, death BMC Madworks mostly, and he's picked up uh, some uh, comparable Korean ones to BMC. Yeah, those are actually up on the channel. Um, and then they got sent over. Those were actually Leon's. Um, and then they got sent over to him. Um, they were nice. And they were they were slightly different than the BMCs. Uh, I can't I can't knock them. I didn't find any real flaws with them. So I mean that part's good. Uh, I need to, I need E I need E runner. Thirty two E. I don't think I did E E eight. E eight. Um. And then those you can get at new type. 
I do not have an affiliate link. I do not have a discount code. And I don't think even if you use it, it's a gun plus. Um, I don't think his works on uh, the tools either. In fact, wait, why does it say 9.5? What the hell? So you have 9. You have part 9 and part 9.5. I don't get that. Um, but even in his like last video that he did for, I think it was the display circle cutter. Even he said, um, that his code does not work on, um, like the tools and stuff like that. So I don't know if anybody's codes actually work at new type for tools, but, um, for the mad works and, uh, the display ones, you can check out. Oh, there's a shell. Um, you can check out uh, Galactic Toys, which is where I order all my stuff. And um, use code STARSHADOW. It will get you a 10% off. And that works on anything from Funkos to paint to tools. Uh, nothing uh, that I've noticed has been excluded. <clears throat> um... Austin says, oh, damn, you have the money chisel. I was hoping to find an affordable solution. Chisel seems to be one of the most non-paint related. So if you're looking, I'm assuming that you're looking for cheap chisels to mess around with. Um, but um, I got these. I did a review on these uh, several months ago. Um, so check back in my backlog of videos. Um, these were, I think, $20. It comes with several tips. Um, and I think it comes with it comes with five tips. Um, they're not horrible, but they're not the best. They're not the best. I mean, you get you get what you pay for. Um, but it was like twenty twenty five dollars for this set. Um, and I think if you're just starting out, um, yeah, I think uh, new type codes are for the for your like your first order or something like that. Um, I don't know. I think, um, personally, this is my own opinion. Personally, I think that, uh, sucks for the people that are shilling them. Um, yes, you have affiliate links that you can end up using, but what's the point in offering a code if it only works for the first time that you order from them? Um, I think that they would be better off offering to the the people that promote them say it's a gun plot you have a code use it's a gun plot or it's a gundam for 10 percent off your order um every time like i think that would be a better incentive instead of it only being for your first order um let's see here can't find it on reddit anymore but here's the link to awesome toys video that talks about it i'll check that out later uh, let's see here. Uh, Michele, uh, says they've actually suspended all codes until further notice. What? If it wasn't for the fact that they send people like a bunch of free stuff. Um, I think that's the only reason that they have as much business as they do. This is again, this is only the opinion of the Gunpla Meister, AKA Dave's world. Uh, this is only my opinion, but, uh, what the hell? Like, that's kind of shady on them. Um, and they would not have as much press as they do from, um, cause I think it, uh, Gunpla Melee advertises for them cause they send her a butt ton of kits. Uh, it's a Gundam um, and other places like that uh, they would not have as much business as they do if it weren't for those guys so for them to completely kill off codes and or only offer affiliate links to, I mean despite the fact that they send free stuff and I'm assuming now now this is just me being me. I'm just assuming that they are sending like the resin kits and stuff 
that doesn't necessarily because you guys don't always see what happens um, on the backside. Sometimes companies will go, hey, we'll send you such and such. Um, you pay half the cost or you pay our cost or something like that. Um, I've had that happen with shops before. Um, Amazon for for affiliates and, and stuff like that. I've literally had shops go, oh, hey, email me. Oh, hey, we would love to have you advertise and do a review on such and such. Um, okay, well, here's my address. You can send it over. Oh, no, you pay with PayPal, and then we will reimburse you um, once you do the review. No, 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 no. You want something reviewed. You send, uh, you send one, and you send an extra one so I can give it away to my viewers. Um, so there is a little bleb thing here. Um in the metal so I'm just going to trim that off and since it's just basically pot metal it's it's going to come off it came off fairly easily um, let's see here Like, I don't know. I'm sitting here and now I'm dwelling on that now that uh, Michelle said that about the uh, the new type codes are shut off. I'm like, that's, that's messed up to do for the reviewers and stuff. I know people got onto me. You know, I have the new type sticker on there. That's because it was given to me. Um, I haven't actually ever ordered from them. Okay, so on this piece, what I would suggest is you have this little piece, looks just like this. I would slide that into the piece and then work it over this. Otherwise, it's just gonna end up biting you um, the whole time. Then this one you can put on. And then we're gonna put on the other side. I'm going to line up the notches just like that. So here, let's let me show you on this one. Uh, I like doing the piece that's going to face me. That way I can see it. So just slide it into the notch. Like so. Okay. Then kind of tuck in, line up your notches, push it in. Push that one down. Put on this side. Line up the notch. That goes in there. Come on. There. Why do I feel like something's wrong? Now, yeah. it's just me. It just made me dumb. Okay, so there's that. Um, so we got those parts done. Uh, except for E. I forgot that P. E4. E4. Uh, let's catch up with chat. Uh, I'll probably have to try and grab Madworks chisels over time. Uh, that's what I've done. I'm going to give them like a tip here and there. Uh, dead to death. That's generally how tool collection goes. Uh, new type, uh, 0085 says 
Galactic is great. Cheapest uh, God Hand Ultimates in the U.S. Uh, Austin says, yeah, I want to grab better nipper before I get into... Um, Ah, stop. Somehow I manage with my finger to hit the freaking record button uh, on the camera when I'm trying to adjust the camera angle. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Austin, I want to grab better nipper uh, before I get in the chisels. Make grab some uh, Barbatos racks. Uh, recommended... Uh, by from Mark and Mark. Apparently, they're very good. Uh, Leon, next paycheck. You're getting Kalani Dave prep that booth. It's almost completely built and ready to go. Uh, for those wondering what that conversation is about, uh, so uh, Leon uh, is ordering a Harder and Steinbeck, I believe it's Harder and Steinbeck, uh, Kalani airbrush. It's basically. Mm, the Bentley Bentley slash Ferrari hybrid of of airbrushes uh, except I think he's ordering the one that has the pistol grip um, I've always wide wondered about those uh, I wouldn't drop the money um, so but he is uh, ordering it and then he's having it shipped to me so that I can do an unboxing and test for you guys uh, so definitely a uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, Exia says new type resin bundles are a bit pricey from what I've seen. They are, but mm, like just their resin is, is so their niche with the resin, they are overpriced with the resin, but their niche is the fact that they're in the United States and they have them. Um, but on the other hand, like I order, I ordered the um, the Fortune Meow uh, double Zeta conversion, and that literally cost me how much was it, uh, John? Uh, I forgot. Like it was significantly less, like significantly less than um, the new type for it, and that was with DHL shipping. It was it was at least half, if not more than half, of uh, the price of um, of theirs. More than sixty dollars less, yeah. So, and even um, uh, even if I ended up ordering it from a GK model, um, wait, why does that kit have screws? Because it has screws. Um, because it's a metal build. Um, let's see here. Dr. Hassoon says good morning. Um, let's see here. Uh, Marsby 115. Hey, Dave, just finished test fitting of the first resin kit. It's the uh, Zaku 2 conversion kit. It was super easy to put together like a Bandai kit. Planning on painting tomorrow. Awesome. That is completely awesome. Uh, dead to death. New types resin bindles are overpriced as shit. Uh, Leon, I may not get it back though because Dave doesn't paint. Shut up, Leon. Um, uh, da, 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 da. It arrived faster, uh, and it arrived faster with DHL shipping. Yes. Um, uh, wait, from where? Uh, because I wanted that kit. So, if you look up on eBay, uh, Abby Lee, hold on, let me do this. Um, I will get you a link. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just eBay. And where is my cart? Nope. 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 Uh, Fortune. Now. Um, let's see here. Come on. Yes, but is this Abby Lee? Abby Lee. Okay. 
copy. Here, give me just a second. Da -da -da -da. Come on, come on. Eh. I'm trying to shorten the link, so just give me a second. Because otherwise, if I put the full length in, then it's just going to be really freaking weird. remember that so sorry 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 so that is where to check her out now there is a caveat uh, da, 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 da. uh shop 2000 is a pretty good site uh yes i i do almost all my shopping there uh don't buy uh let's see uh jim and boo uh says don't buy resin locally people unless uh, insane deal get via gkm or tabeo uh, Austin says, dang, I didn't know there were kits with screws. That's pretty neat. Um, yes, uh, yes, da 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 da. Old Master Grades use screws. Uh, some older PGs, yes, lovely. Alien Casatria also use screws. Uh, PG Wing, da 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 da. Um, does that make it more difficult to put together? Honestly, I don't mind. So, this was this already came together. Like, I literally took it out of the package and the whole frame was together. Um, and uh, Dead Death says screws don't affect difficulty unless you're a clown and don't over tighten. I haven't touched these screws. I haven't felt like I needed to. Everything seemed to be tight. But this already came already prefabricated, the whole frame. I didn't have to do anything with that, which was awesome. Okay, so I posted a link in chat um, to the Fortune Meow on Abby Lee. Let me tell you a secret, okay? Not everybody. Um, if you, uh, contact her through the eBay chat system, um, and just leave your, if you have, uh, if you have a WeChat, um, I know a lot of people do. So, um, with WeChat, which I have to message her right now, um, Hope, because I need my tracking. Hope you had a great new year. Um, and then I want to view profile. Um, or you can message her direct. I guess you can do it this way too. Um, I'll put this up on here. You guys can copy it down. Uh, is the seller reputable? Yes. Um, Abby Lee is a very reputable. She is, she and her husband are great people. So let me type in chat her WeChat um, contact. Abby E O L C. Here is a secret. Now that is her um, WeChat ID. Okay, so um, you can contact her and get it. I believe, tell her that I sent you. Um, you know, just tell her Dave, uh, David, Gunplaw Meister uh, sent you. You will get a discount on there. 
um, and it's less than buying it on eBay because they're not having to pay for the eBay prices and shipping will be cheaper as well because you can get it by DHL uh, as well. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I've had some really crappy uh, sellers, but Abby is one that even if there's one that she doesn't carry, uh, you can hunt down. She is usually pretty good. Like she'll try and find something um, for you. But yeah, just um, contact her through WeChat. That's the best way. Don't go to the Facebook page anymore um, because with China's regulations, they she can rarely even open that. She has to do it through a VPN, WeChat. Um, she checks our nighttime. Um, you know, because that's their daytime. Great person uh, to deal with. You are very welcome, Michelle. Yeah, I know sometimes it gets really, you know, sketchy with some sellers, um, things like that. But um, she's one of the few. And I, I don't order that often, like, anymore. I was ordering a lot. Um, GKM is, uh, GK model is my primary shop. Um, and they actually ship out of Taiwan, so they don't have the same issues like shipping out of China. Um, but for some other kits, uh, I go through her. Um, which we ended up finding out and I did order it. It's, you know, it's too late. We'll find out how crappy it is. Um, I ordered for Djibouti a, uh, the back half dress up kit for the, uh, Anchorage Sazvi. And I'm going to use it for demonstration purposes to compare, uh, the Anchorage to the, the copies since they weren't doing it. But then... Over the weekend, I think it was this weekend, or maybe it was last week, um, there was an announcement that they were going to start re-releasing um, that second set as a, as an original. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. I already ordered it. It was super cheap. Um, so I'm expecting super cheap stuff to come. But the good part is that there'll be extra photo etch so that he can practice uh, his photo etch skills with that. So, uh, and I just purchased that just to uh, um, help him. I know he was sad that he wasn't able, that he didn't realize that they came with two sets. Um, like, and it was weird how they did that. They should have just done it as one set. I don't understand why they did two sets. And I would understand one set was wholly the backpack and everything. But no, there was like leg armors that were included in that other set. Didn't make any sense. Um, this kit is full plastic or has resin parts. No, this kit has metal parts. So it's full plastic with metal parts for the frame. Um, plastic and die cast. Yes, I've been waiting on the remold. Uh, you already acquired through Abby. Um, I did not acquire, um, the, I did not acquire a, a remold of the original parts. I acquired what she's advertising as a recast of the original. Um, so we will, I'll see how that ends up looking when it gets here. Um, it may be absolute dog shit, um, which is not on Abby at all. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's not on Abby at all about how the casting is going to be. I'm just warning you guys, if I talk complete shit on it, it does not have anything to do with Abby. It has to do with whoever casted, recasted uh, the incorrect parts. And maybe, I mean, maybe I get lucky and it will be a good casting. Uh, and they did a good job. But from what I've heard from people, that that's no bueno. Um, but I haven't really known Abby to sell, like, shitty castings of stuff. Because I think her and her husband build models. Um, that's why they have this like side business. Because they have real jobs. Um, I think that's that's why they have this side business. And all the stocking stuff is because they also build as well. So I would hope. Um, 
that Abby would, you know, uh, pick and choose. Like, she wouldn't carry something that was absolute crap. Uh, let's see. All right, and I need some of these parts. Um, spicy three designs. Well, uh, so basically a buildable metal uh, build. It's kind of like a metal build, yeah. So it's got plastic and die cast for uh, on the frame, and plastic all the way around it. Um, F seven, and it has been a very enjoyable build. I don't feel rushed by it, um, and I don't feel burdened by the build. Um, I haven't gotten to a point where I'm like, I just wish I want this to be over. Now, I haven't gotten to the backpack yet, which is like half of this kit. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying uh, hanging out with me. I'm enjoying hanging out with you and working on this. And like I said earlier, I, I felt guilty just building the side skirts last night without sharing with you um so that's why i decided you know what i'm just going to i'm going to freaking work on this uh it is right Was it? Okay. So, time for zoom in. Um, any ideas on finding a silver uh, panel line pen? Um, so it depends on your panel lines. You can um get. Where are? I had a thing with pins in it. Uh, da, 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 da. The the microns, um, they're called micron. Here they are. Now I only have in black. Uh, they're the micron zero one. Uh, this is you can get them. You can get them in super fine, but you can get these in um, gold. You can get these in any color. Uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby, any arts and crafts store should ha uh, have them. They are not cheap. Uh, they are usually about three to four dollars each. Um, but the Micron pins, uh, you can get these in silver, gold, uh, and they work great. Uh, in fact, I have a whole set in different ones that I use either for when I'm doing drawing or uh, if I want to do some panel lining, I'll use those too. Um, okay, so let me show you guys on on this piece. So on in the instructions, it shows to take this piece and this piece and just put it together. Um, but it did not work out that well for me. So I found feed it in, feed it into the hole, then line up your pegs. And then push it in and then it fits like that um, so their instructions are a little off on that but hopefully you will get that uh, don't force it don't get frustrated because you're like oh it won't line up it won't go flat uh, that's why um, let's see here I have those just can't find silver online um, Worst case scenario, um, worst case scenario, you can get uh, silver enamel like the testers enamel, uh, the chrome. Um, you can use, you can use a paintbrush or you can use a like an inking nib. Uh, water it down, um, like you would, like before that. The before there were these like this 
um, people watered down their enamels. So enamel thinner, water it down, um, something like this. You know, you can get them at any hobby shop. Take the silver, water it down, um, like really, really thin it out. And then you can use your inky nib, so forth, and do it that way. And then uh, let it cure and clean it up in the regular process. It's this, It's literally the same as using these just in silver or whatever color that you choose. Uh, it's more work, but hey. Um, okay, so where am I? So we got this. We got this piece, which is going to fit on here. Okay, there's that. Uh, and I need the six and seven. Six and seven. P six and seven. Winner, winner. Chicken fettuccine dinner. Which, by the way, I don't know how you guys were. Um, I, like, my wife and I stopped going out years ago for Valentine's Day because it was redonkulous. Maybe when you're young and in love and you actually care that you'll actually, like, go and wait in line for several hours for a Valentine's dinner. Um, but ain't nobody got time for that shit. So this year with COVID, they lightened up the restrictions somewhat. So they allowed for some outdoor dining here. Well, what normally ends up being a, I don't know, two hour wait for Valentine's was six to eight hours, depending on the restaurant. Um, And I was like, hmm, I don't love eating. And I don't think that they were doing um, like, oh, we'll call you when the table's available. I think they were making people wait. And I'm like, oh, I do not love anyone that much to wait six or seven hours for dinner. Nope. If you want Olive Garden that bad, babe, we're going to go. It's going to, it's to go. And we're eating it at home. All right. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Molotov chrome pin might work uh, out well. I've seen those. But I've, I've never had one. Um, and then Jet Pins carries a ton of metallic ink fine liners. Try them. Nice. I'll check those out too. I love when you guys suggest new things um, to try and everything. Because um, I like learning about new stuff. New tools, new experiences, things like that. And... Was this nut? Oh, it was the piece I needed. Okay. So how's this? All right, so this looks like this is going to be another one of those that we kind of put together in pieces. That's exactly what we got. So on this, fit that in there. This is going to go like this. This time you're going to make it difficult. Okay. Maybe this time we're going to do it different. So let's see. Okay, so that fits on like that. Will this one go on? Okay. Perfect. Okay. 
So my suggestion for these wrist parts, put the brown piece in, then put the white piece on. And then line up these. Perfect. Okay. So, to reiterate, it's easier if I do it this way. So, take your take your brown piece, put it in. Make sure you're putting it in the right way, right, 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 round. Come on. Helps if Dave's not being a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> so, slide in the brown piece. Slide on the white piece. There's a little clump of cat hair that just keeps attacking me. Okay. And then do... Your other side. Press it together. I want to thank everyone that stopped by, gave the the likes on the video. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. out of here real quick and then pop back in uh also thank you leon for um the death donations <sighs> donating 75 freaking dollars tonight freaking crazy bastard all right um and then i need some k Two. When I saw these, I thought they were for feet. on Tuesday <laughs> well I appreciate you dude I really do my suffrage actually goes to the channel so because everything I end up getting goes back in the channel one way or another So those are in there. Now, let's grab some arms and let's fit it in there. Maybe. Okay, so we have that. And slide it in. All right. So that's what one arm looks like. And 
That's what the other arm looks like. I didn't think they'd go like that because I thought it would be like too tight. All right. So let us take the shoulder pieces on here. And then we can call the arms done. Now, the only thing that I've had uh, an issue with, and I just, I really haven't messed with them that much, are these side skirts. Um, they do pop off really easily. Oh, that just looks it makes it look like a complete freaking badass. Um, these come off kind of easily, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. Looks so sexy. Minus the cat hair. Okay. So. Get a nice focus on here if I can't. There we go. So here is a front view. A side view. Those arms are so freaking bulky. Um, back view. Uh, under view. Um, <laughs> Leon says, so I got to pay my day bill. Staff's kits. Uh, it's so pretty. It is very, very pretty. Uh, let me see how it looks this way on this camera. Different cameras give different views. Maybe if I get. So there is that little less harsh light on there. Um, Damn, that is, that is a sexy looking kit. I know Gundams aren't supposed to be sexy. They're supposed to be menacing and rrr, but oh. Uh, Legato Starwind. Uh, I've been looking around and I was wondering if uh, there might be any resin figures of the God Hand from Berserk. Uh, I've been reading the manga and now on volume three out of 40, it'd be cool to have them. Um. I don't know. Um, it, and uh, Steph's kid says it's forbidden how good this looks. Yes. Um, yeah, I am very, very pleased with this so far. And it's not even mine. It's dead to death. Which means at some point I'm going to end up having to send it to him, which is perfectly fine. It'll get displayed. Um, I'm not going to panel line it I don't think I'll leave that to him but ah oh, this does it looks so good look at the mobility in the waist like that's crazy you get some crunch forward and back you get crunch side to side what freaking Gundam of this design of Bandai is that you do get that? Um, the head, you don't get a lot of turn on the head. Like, you really don't, but you're, you're really not going to. Um, wow, I am like, I am highly impressed so far. <laughs> oh, gotta keep these in the shot. Right there. Uh... Let's see. Uh, panel line if you want to. It's not that hard to strip. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me see how it looks once it's all done. Uh, let's see here. Big Bent. Yes, that's yeah, that's sick. Sup, Dave. Sup, Big Bent. Uh, Dead to death. It's uh, slightly based off of the Forbidden, um, but it's mostly new. Yeah, I think this looks really great. Um, Uh, I'm not going to build any hands yet because I don't know what we're going to end up doing. Um, next up, which will be tomorrow's video, uh, well, uh, I won't, um, but uh, it's dead to death. So once he does whatever he's going to do with it, he probably will. I have them sitting over here and the water slides 
Uh, turn that down. The water slides look fantastic. Um, they're in a, I mean, there's nothing super special about them. They're in a light gray, but you can see the borders. The borders are right up along the design. You don't have any flare out or anything on that. And I think that's fantastic. A lot of companies don't end up doing that. Let me spin that around so you guys can get that view. And try to make it all pretty. Back up. Yes, I'm I'm playing around. I'm being I'm being weird. Uh let's see here. as a thumbnail maybe we need to change color what if we change color um, can we turn that down a little bit more There we go. Um, it's a, a company called Zero Gravity or Zero G. Uh, most of the kits arrive with broken deck. Common problem with this kit, but ends up being a perk since it gives you slightly more articulation. Okay, I don't like the yellow. Green now. That's too harsh. That's kind of good. Kind of like that. Meh. Booty says right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure that. quite show the legs yes I'm playing around guys like oh, let's see here I'm literally just taking the shots of it uh, let's see here GMC uh, GCM is supposed to get a tiny restock uh, for the lunar holidays uh, sold out uh, da 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 uh, Gundam Central said today they would get about 42 uh, after the holiday. Uh, keep an eye out. Yeah, they will. They will sell out. Um, let's see here. So let's do this. Okay. So here we are. Uh, I was in voice chat just in case anybody. Leon says, Dave, the old man playing with toys. Uh, there is uh, there is one of those already. His name is Too Old for Toys. Uh, definitely look him up. Uh, but yes. 
Um, so, uh, use green, Dave, since that's its colors. Okay. Well, I stopped on here because... I don't know if I can get a rich green out of here. What? Can I get a rich green? Uh, that's about... It just doesn't come come through right. I love this light panel, but I just can't quite get that. Yeah, it just doesn't come through. Come on. Purple. Ooh, I kind of like that orange. Let me cast that. Okay. All right. So anyway, enough of that. Uh, and so what do we got here? Uh. Dave is only older than me by two years, I think. Uh, someone on IG is painting theirs in Forbidden Colors. Um, yeah. So here is my take on it. Um, this is my first foyer into this company. Um, I have to say, I don't know how many kits that they've actually done, but they seem to be on their game. It looks great. It's been building great. What do you mean dim the light? Dim the color light, Jibuti? I mean, I can. It, the, I can dim up and down all the light. Um, but yeah, I, I think this has been great so far. Um, definitely stay tuned. So I was planning on, because looking at the instructions, you're like, oh, this is going to go together like really fast. There's not that many parts. And then you get into it and it's just, um, really? It's their first kit? Um then you get into it and you notice how the parts fit together like a puzzle, but they go together so well. Like I haven't had to trim any, any pieces, um, anything like that. Everything has gone together perfectly, which is why I'm shocked that this is their first kit. Uh, it really makes me think that they have worked on other projects for maybe other companies. Uh, allow me to proctologize myself. Oh, Jib. Um, wait till you get to the backpack. Yeah, I. that's the way it looks. But yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I was looking at the instructions. We can build the shoulders, the arms, and the legs tonight. No, no, we couldn't. Partly because I talk too much, but two, I'm also cleaning the kit as I go to make it look all good. Um, and then it's just an intricate build, like... Everything is well done together. I think now I realize most people are going to end up painting this. Um, but I think for those that just wanted to build it, they could have done some different variations and shades for color separation, like on the arms and stuff. Some of the panels, since the panels are separated and stuff, but I mean, it's, it looks great the way it is. Um, I would say if you can get one, um, I would say if you can get one, get one. Um, but they're going to be there. They went fast the first time. They're going to go fast uh, when they come back up. Um, Dead Death says, I have a hard time believing that rumor due to how um, different aesthetically the kits are. Um, wait. Oh, Exy says, I heard a rumor that the company was formerly known as Devil's Art. Yeah, I don't know anything about that other company, but um, wow, okay, that's uh, that's really uh, really crazy. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, props to them. I will definitely keep an eye open for any future uh, future stuff that they come out with. 
Um, it's not considered and let's get this straight before I end up with all the hate comments down below, which I give zero fucks about. Um, by the way, if you have noticed, this is an adult channel. This is not for children. Um, but before all the haters come up, oh, this is a bootleg. Oh, this is a bootleg. Um, no, no, it's not. Um, this is its own design as far as I can tell. Um, Bandai has not produced one of these, much less done a metal build style. <coughs> it has a metal and a plastic frame that's screwed together, um, which is fantastic. It seems to be holding up very well. Uh, the design around this is great. The casting um, for the parts and everything has been flawless. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Leon says, insert hate comment here. I always end up getting them with those two that end up giving a thumbs down, um, you know, for third party stuff. Um, look, if they do it right, they did it right. And now here's my thing. Bootlegs and original, I will always lean toward the original, except for in cases where, so I can't even get to it. I have the, the Exia, uh, avalanche down there and it's not the Bandai one, but it's a hundred times better than the Bandai one. It's basically a master grade on steroids. Um, but it was better. And I'm not going to get into the um, the recast or not even the recast, the bootleg versus the other real bootlegs. I consider where companies uh, like Daiban and so forth have taken the original runners, made copies, and are producing those under theirs and selling uh, what would be a $80 Master Grade for $30. Um, I've seen some of those. I've seen the. the what ends up happening with them? No bueno. Um, uh, hi, Lycan. I haven't fucking seen you in forever. Um, so, so yeah, that's where I get. I do like these third party companies that give Bandai a run for their money, um, and making them work for it. This is their own design. It's clean. It's great. It's bulky. It's it's sexy, just sexy. Um, let's see here. Steph's kids happens all the time in third party transformers. Designers leave and no, uh, go to other companies. Name changes. So uh, I can believe uh, could have uh, legato. I've ordered enough kits and I have enough kits in my backlog. I think I'll have to pass on this kit. Um, like in, I have no problem with buying, uh, on Bandai kits if it's better. Yeah. If it's better then uh, then go for it. Um, but I don't, I don't like when people buy the, the cheap knockoff version, the bootleg version, because it's cheap, um, versus paying the, re uh, paying what would be retail from Bandai for the original. Um, I don't. I don't like that because you get what you pay for in a lot of those cases. Um, TT Hong Lee, go, go, same company, same garbage. Um, yeah, I know Jim, right? Like I haven't seen like in, in forever. Um, let's see here. Uh, a little, th <laughs> a lot of the thumb downers probably have, have this kit. Uh, ironically, it wasn't uh, the kit itself. They tried to trademark the licensed metal build base LL, uh, which drew Bandai's attention. Yeah. Uh, Takumi Studios did a nice plastic conversion armor set for the Master Grade Sinanju. Uh, I think I saw that. Uh, and Lycan says, Howdy. Uh, yeah, this kit and that Sinanju plastic conversion are nice uh, change. Uh, that I really expect to see more of in the future. Yeah, I mean, if they do, then awesome. That would be that would be freaking fantastic. Um, you know, if more companies do this, I'm I'm down for it. I am down for that. 
Oh, um, yeah. So I hope everybody has had a fantastic evening. We are up. Thanks to Mr. Uh, Leon for trying to give me alcohol poisoning every week. We are up to three shots for this Friday and it's only Tuesday. Pray for me. Uh, and if we decide to have a Saturday clinic, I'm screwed. But either way, uh, I don't care. Um, so yes, so I am keeping a tally of all that. Thank you very much. I want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight. Um, you guys are freaking fantastic. Like, you, uh, 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 great numbers, great uh, donations, everything else. I, I love each and every one of you. Titi Hongli is making Transformers now, and the quality is pretty good. Um, uh, I would love some of the old Transformers, like the old original Transformers. You know, back when they had metal and screws. And there's one that I have wanted forever, ever, ever, ever. So if anybody has one in their closet, they will want to trade off or something. Hit me up. I have no idea what the name of it is. I think someone told me at one point, but it looked like the Concorde jet. Now keep in mind, I was eight or nine at the time. But I remember when I was eight or nine, it seemed like it was this freaking long. It looked like the Concorde jet. Uh, <laughs> the bank of Dave is now closing the, um, the Concorde. Uh, it looked like the Concorde jet. And my grandmother tried to find me one. It was the only transformer that I didn't really have that I really wanted. I mean, I had, um, I had the, which someday I will end up collecting if I find the original ones, not the new crappy ones, but the original ones or original style ones. Uh, what was it? Devastator, um, you know, where it had all the construction vehicles that were in green and they, yeah, that one, I had all those, uh, and I didn't have many toys as a kid, but I did like my grandmother would buy me some when I'd go and visit and they'd stay at my grandmother's house. Otherwise, I don't even want to talk about it. anyway. Um, yeah, so there was that. Uh, and I think that was it. Um, Steph's kit says that silver bolt, silver bolt. They were uh, th wait, silver bolt. They were a combiner. I don't remember it combining with anything, but uh, I am definitely writing that down because I will look that up. I will hunt one down. Uh, did it transfer into a robot or it transferred into a robot? It was big. Uh, let's see. Big Ben. I wanted the Devastator so bad when I was a kid. Yeah. You know what? I actually went two years I want to say and I had all the ones that make the arms and the legs but I know the piece but I didn't have the torso for the longest time and a friend of mine <laughs> I'm looking at eBay listings of it oh god I'm afraid I'm afraid to know the price um it's part of the arrow bots or you could be talking about Skylinks the shuttle no I know it wasn't the shuttle it was um <clears throat> No, no, I know, but someone asked if it transferred into a robot or a bird. Um, third party guys, they are expensive. Uh, and then Skylinks, the shuttle uh, was in the new Netflix Transformer series. Yeah, no, I'm talking like old school. I'm talking 80s Transformers. Um, so, and I remember it was the Concorde. And the reason I could remember that because the Concorde has the, the nose that kind of goes down at a tip. I remember that. Um, and my grandmother tried to make it up to me and she got Starscream and something that was like a couple of the small planes because she couldn't find, uh, she couldn't find that one for me. But God bless her heart for trying. Skylinks was in G1 as well. Um, oh, you guys are gonna just gonna make me look and then I'm not gonna be able to buy. And meh. But uh, hey, uh, thank you for um, the the silver bolt. I will end up uh, looking uh, looking that up definitely, and seeing what kind of trouble I can get into that. Um, I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. I have to go down and put on my apron and turn into the house bitch, and uh, start wake getting uh, dinner ready for the wifey. Um, but I love each and every one of you. I want to thank you for tuning in. Tune in tomorrow. We will build the legs for this guy. And we're just going to keep going until this is done. 
um, D U N. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys all again. Look up G1 Silver Bolt. And uh, I had him as a kid, Dave. Uh, I love the Concord. I will look up Silver Bolt. I will. Night, everyone. Uh, be safe. Uh, it, be warm. If you're back east, if you're anywhere from the Midwest to the back east, uh, definitely uh, stay, stay warm. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Peace. Transformers. Bam, bam, bam. More than meets the eye.